Hello friends, welcome to my videos. So today in this lesson, I am going to show you how you can convert a file to PDF in Office 365, I mean to say in SharePoint Online using Microsoft Flow. So as we know, there are many solutions available to convert a file in SharePoint Online to PDF version. Many are third party tools. So you can just select the file, click on convert and it uh, goes through. But these third party tools uh, need you to pay after their trial period and uh, sometimes uh, you don't trust all the apps. So I mean to say your organization policies may bar you from using third party tools. So how you can achieve it easily without using any external tool or any external code? Well you can simply do it in Microsoft Flow. Let me show you how. So I am going to present an example to you. So in front of you, I have a document library documents, another document library PDFs. So what I have done using Microsoft Flow, I have designed a flow that works in the way that if you upload a file here and if you, uh, there's a uh, property defined here about, uh, you can see convert to PDFs. So if you select it, if you mark it, yes, then this flow is going to get triggered and it's going to Put your document here so let's uh, so let's see how it works so I'm in the documents folder and I'm gonna upload a file so I'm uploading a document okay so so a document has been uploaded now this flow should run so let me uh, uh, let me go to to PDFs but wait a second did we mark this no it says it is still no so we should edit it Let's go and edit properties. And I'm selecting convert to PDF as yes. And I'm saving it. Now this flow should run. In fact, it's running. Let's check how it goes. First, let me refresh this page. Okay, and now on the latest one, see how it is going. So it shows this ran successfully. So in that case, I should have a file here. Let's refresh. Yeah, the file is right here, PDF. So I uploaded a Word document and I got a PDF. So similarly, you can add PowerPoint, Excel and you're gonna get PDF files out of it. So now, the main solution maker, this flow. Let me walk you through this. So the first action here is the trigger. So the trigger says when an item is created or modified. So here I have put the site address and uh, my uh, document library's name. Let me edit it because probably that way I can show you a better view. Yeah. Alright. So here I have put the site URL and the document library's name to reach the exact document library where I am going to upload. The next step is to get the file content. So when you, uh, and this is a SharePoint uh, action. So Again, it asks for the uh, site URL and file identifier. So for file identifier, so you can select a dynamic content for the item when an item is created or modified and you can go for this identifier. See the description of this value that can be used in file related action for selecting a file. So our intention is to select the file that we uploaded. So select its identifier. Now this third action is a OneDrive action what it says create a file so the option uh, is uh, create a file so basically we are creating the file into uh, into our onedrive so uh, because i have selected root so it's going to put into my onedrive directly otherwise you can always click on this folder here and you can uh, select the one that you need i mean uh, to the location that you want 
the next is to uh, have a file name so for file name i have selected file name with extension see this action file file name with extension so that you have the uh, uh, file name along with the ex extension if you just use the file name or title then it's not or, or just the this name uh, then it's not going to help you because what will happen with the name the uh, extension will not come and it's not going to work i have already tried that before and yes you need the file content so file content is going to be the content that you got in the previous action that is this file content now one drive for business provides you another action that is called the convert file so here here first of all you need to point to the id so in this create file action you have an op uh, you have a property id the unique identifier of the file or folder so here you create a file here and that id you put as an input to this action convert file and then the target type you select as pdf so now you are creating now you are converting a file okay now you have got the file converted so you need to save it into sharepoint so again you need to go to the site address folder path so here as i showed you i have created a pdf folder so i have gone there again when it comes to the name make sure you go with the uh, either file name with extension or just name with dot pdf so i selected a second option to explain you what exactly i said before so i have selected the name property and i have added the extension dot pdf and the file content you can select from the convert file because here you have actually converted the file so that is something you should use you can use the get file content as well but that's not going to help you because you need to get the converted content so that's why i selected file content and that's it now uh, based on your customized requirements like i created a field and based on its uh, properties i defined this flow you can always have a different choice of actions so for example uh, you, you may have an approval workflow defined before where you want somebody to approve before you convert it to pdf for example if you have to send some documents to your clients and you submit as document doc files and then your manager approves it so all such processing all such uh, steps can be defined and if you want to elaborate more for example here you created the file in one drive but if you want you can uh, add an action to delete the file from one drive as well because what would happen if you keep on converting files everyone suppose in your organization starts uh, uploading a lot of documents and then uh, converting them so in that case you will have a huge accumulation of duplicate files in your one drive and also in your uh, documents library where i have uploaded the file initially so if you add more actions like you are going to delete the file from your one drive and if you want if you want you can delete even from your sharepoint document library also based on certain properties certain criteria of course you can always define that and uh, in that way you can uh, remove the files that you uploaded so that's going to keep your environment clean because you will not have the multiple copies of a single file uploaded and present across multiple applications so this is something you can easily achieve and and uh, always remember this extension so either you select file name with extension or select name and dot pdf otherwise if you don't follow this convention you uh, you'll get some trouble as i have seen earlier because when you don't put the extension the system doesn't know which application to use when you uh, try to open a file so this is mandatory otherwise you are going to encounter errors as i said before so that's it so i hope you like this video where you can save your lot of cost with the, and you can reduce your dependency on third party tools and you can just do everything in your office 365 insta uh, office 365 environment itself so that is how it works so i hope you like this video make sure you give it a like and comment and do not forget to subscribe 
to my channel because I regularly upload videos and anything more you want to see make sure you put it as a comment thank you